Mystery Fighters running on my Pi, which powers this arcade. So I thought I'd make a video to show how I did it. How I got a lot of these games that I couldn't get to work. To work. Okay, so this video is going to be about getting some of the games, uh, the arcade games or MAME, to run on the Pi 2 and 3, the Pi 2 and Pi 3, which I have both. So I've messed with the Pi for a while, and, and even though all the information is readily available, it does get very overwhelming really quickly if you're not really familiar with uh, MAME and, and ROMs and, and ROM sets and, and, and all that stuff. So um, I know I had a lot of trouble to get these things to work, um, at least some of the games, the, some of the Street Fighter specifically and, and uh, Metal Slug, things like that. So this tutorial is going to show how to get those to run and how I did it. Um, I'm not a expert on RetroPie or or and you know um, any of this stuff <laughs> by any means. It's just my experience uh, to get all these stuff to run. Um, so maybe I'll help a few people out. So um, this is my favorite way to connect to the Pi is using WinSCP. Um, it's just very straightforward. It's almost like an FTP program. You just log in uh, right to the Pi. So I'm gonna log into my Bart Arcade. Okay, so copying ROMs over, most of them are pretty straightforward. So you have the Pi here logged in, uh, directory home Pi Retro Pi ROMs, uh, and then you have your ROMs. So let's say for the Nintendo. So they're .NES, so you simply take whatever ROM, you copy it into the Pi, you load it up, and it works. So the Very first piece of information uh, that's very important is right here. So these are the recommended MAME emulators for the Pi 2 and 3. Um, so it's LR MAME 2003 and LR Final Burn Alpha. Uh, and down here it shows you the ROM versions or ROM sets that best work with these emulators. So these are the two we're going to do. Uh, main 2003. So this is okay. So these are going to these are going to be the two ROM versions that we need um, that run best with the Pi two and three. So we're going to need this main that seven eight for the main 2003 and the Fountain Roll Burn Alpha zero two nine seven three nine. So these uh, best way to do it just Google these ROM versions. Um, um, you'll be able to find them. So I have those here. So these are the full ROM sets. Uh, for both. So you have the MIM 2003 and the Final Burn Alpha, this version. So now you're going to have a lot of repeats. Um, what I found is that most ROMs run on um, the MIM 2003. Only a select few uh, will need this Final Burn Alpha, and that happens to be a lot of the later Street Fighters. Um, these ROM sets are huge. Um, you can kind of just pick and choose um, which ones you want. I, I didn't take all of these games. Um, I kind of just went and, and you know threw them, see the ones I, I liked, um, and and put them into the pie. So the the good news is that you don't have to separate them out. So you can if you want to take whatever games from this one. Um, the MIM 1003 and put them in here and whatever ones you want from here and put them in Final Born Alpha. You could do that. Now another way to do it is to just put all the games because um, technically these are all main games um, into this folder called Arcade uh, which is what I did. So all the games um, any that you want from here and from here go into this folder. Okay, now that we have all the games in this folder, Home Pie, Retro Pie, ROMs, Arcade, um, the second thing we're going to need is BIOS files, which is something I missed that caused a lot of headaches, was that a lot of these main games, a lot of these arcade games, uh, ran on a Neo Geo BIOS. So we need the file. So if you look here, of course, Neo Geo is uh, a home console as well, but... Uh, 
a lot of these arcade games um, need the BIOS file. So if you see here, this is a very important piece of information. A lot of these games, like Metal Slug, um, actually need these this uh, file. So you're gonna you're gonna need this. So we're gonna look for it. Very easy again. You're gonna Google it. Um, very easy to find. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that file and we're gonna copy it into this folder as well. So I have a copy here somewhere. Neo Geo, there it is, very important. So a Neo Geo BIOS file needs to be in this folder, in the arcade folder, as well as in this folder. So here you'll see a BIOS folder. So a copy of that needs to be in here. So you're gonna take that um, zip file and you're gonna put a copy in here, which is in here. Okay, so very important, needs to be in here and in here, in here, arcade. Okay, just to summarize before we go over to the Pi, um, so we now have all the games we want in the arcade folder. So this is my list of games that I picked. These are the main 2003 from that 0.78 ROM set. And these are all the ROMs that I wanted. And I copy them over into the arcade folder. And these are the ones for the final run alpha. As you can see, it's really not many. Um, seems to be just some of the newer Street Fighters, uh, the Metal Slugs, Marvelous Capcom, WF Superstars, um, and these are actually, this is a hyper fighting Street Fighter. Um, so only a select few will you need the final burn alpha. So these are in this folder as well. So everything is now in the arcade folder along with the BIOS file. So you have a Neo Geo BIOS file in here and one in the BIOS folder. So everything is in this arcade folder. Um, and we're not gonna go over to the Pi and get it all to work. Okay, so I do have a, I do have a keyboard hooked up. You don't need it. Uh, it just makes it easy to scroll through the menu. So the first thing you're gonna do is, in the RetroPie menu, you're gonna have to go into the run command editor and make sure it's enabled. Um, and that's gonna give us the pop-up menu before when you choose a ROM, it's going to give you a pop-up menu and be able to choose which emulator you want to use, which we need here. So you're going to have to make sure that that's enabled. Okay, so we're going to pick a game here and we're going to enter it and we're going to hit the space bar. And that's going to bring up the run command menu. And here is where you're going to be able to choose which emulator you want to run. Now, most of the games are going to work under this LR MAME 2003. Um, only a select few are going to need to be switched over. Okay, now the Street Fighter 3, if you try to load it up with MAME 2003, it won't work. So as you see, you have to go down and select you leave the default as main 2003 because most of the games on that folder are main to th are main 2003 you're going to choose final born alpha for this rom only which is a street fighter 3 and when you do that it'll work Welcome to the